Okay, question number seven. How many valence electrons does a carbon atom have? So first, let's look up carbon on the periodic table. Let's just find a normal periodic table. Okay, so carbon is found here. And we can see that its atomic number is six. So this tells us that carbon contains six protons. And if we have a neutral carbon atom, then we also have six electrons. So now if we try to draw this electron diagram of an atom of carbon, we can show how the inner shell contains two electrons out of the six. And then the outer shell will have the remaining four. So when we talk about valence electrons, these are the electrons in the outermost shell. So for carbon, carbon has four valence electrons. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. Valence electrons are often defined as the number of electrons in the highest energy level of an atom or ion. To determine the number of valence electrons in carbon, we need to write its electron configuration. So this is another method of answering this question. Electron configuration is a notation that shows how electrons are distributed in an atom or ion or molecules, atomic orbitals or molecular orbitals respectively. There are several principles that govern how electrons occupy the orbitals. One of them is the off-bell principle. This rule states that electrons occupy the available orbital with the lowest energy. In atoms, the pattern or order of occupying the orbitals is summarized by Madelung's rule, which is illustrated below. Okay, so they show how this is an easy way of writing out electron configuration. And then as you go down the arrows, this is the order in which you would write out your electron configuration. Okay, so they found out that carbon has six electrons. And then they also showed that the electron configuration of a ground state carbon atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. The highest energy level in a ground state carbon atom is 2, so in this energy level there are 4 electrons, 2 from the 2s and 2 from 2p. Therefore, a carbon atom has 4 valence electrons. Yep, so this solution is correct. Thank you.